All oh, right. Well, I'm out here walking this creek in this uh, floodplain area looking for morel mushrooms. And I found a couple already, and I got too excited to uh, pluck them. Forgot to make videos because that's typically what I do. So these are um, what's called a half free morel. Morel, sorry, old habits. Half free morel mushroom. Um, they've got a lot of other uh, colloquial names uh, that I won't uh, go over, but use your imagination. So these aren't uh, attached at the base like the way that uh, a lot of the morels are. So they actually have kind of a cap-like structure to them. Um, they typically don't get as big as the uh, yellow morels or the blacks or the grays or whatever you want to call them. Um, here is another one in the ground here that's ended up growing kind of funky. So you can see it came up and it's uh, pushed itself right back down into the ground again. So yeah, that's another half free morel. Pretty good size one there. Um, Alright, so I found a few right in this little area. This is a uh, Osage Orange is what this is. Um, so let's just keep looking around and see if we can find any more of them in this area. There's a jawbone of a deer back there. That's always a not so good sign anyway, right? All right, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna stop the video here and I'll right, so link them together if we find more. anything else. That one there kind of sticks out like a sore thumb, so it's pretty easy to spot. And right down here's another. Sorry, the, the dappled sun makes it real hard to see. So, that one there, and then this one there. Oh, oh, almost missed it. You see it right there growing right next to the tree there. So there's three more. Good finds, good finds. Okay, there you. So yeah, um, I don't know. I've I've heard pinching them at the base, cutting them off, uh, just plucking the whole thing. I don't know. I I, I try to pinch the base when I can. Um, but I don't know. Chime in in the comments and let me know what y'all think. Um, all right, I'll. Be back in just a second if I find any more. I'm sure I will. Oh, 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 nope, don't even gotta leave. Right, there's another right down there. So, yeah, here, let me kind of pan out and just show you this habitat. So, you really want these floodplain areas. So, see this creek there? And this is actually pretty high up from where the creek is. But it does flood up here, so this is good rich soil. Um, there's a lot of honeysuckle in here, but that's that doesn't have anything to do with the morels. It's just any area is going to have a lot of honeysuckle anymore. Oh, look at that guy right over there. It's amazing how much he'll just overlook these. And they'll just pop out at you. That's a good one there. So yeah, good size half free morel. Alright, so yeah, this is already a good day. I've only been here for a couple of minutes. That's enough to at least cook up and eat tonight, so that'll be fun. Alright, but yeah, you can see there's some grass growing in here. Get some sunlight. Um, that's Virginia Spring Beauty. Red Dead now like anybody's backyard, but so yeah, this is the habitat. And yeah. I don't know what the dead tree is that it's associating with. Oh, right here. I think that is a dead ash, if I'm not mistaken. I bet you that's the tree that they're going after. This Osage Orange, I think, is mostly alive. And I don't know, I've never heard um, that is listed as one of the associated species, but it, it could be. I mean, I, I think they can go with any hardwood species. So, right, we're just going to keep on looking here.